these are items that I'm including with the RV, uh, purchase of the RV. This is the old hot water heater, and that is the tank that needs to be replaced. There is also a newer water heater that will fit the application, and that's what the door is set up for. Um, these are some better shaped tail lights, um, and I just bought those just for future. I was thinking maybe switching over to LEDs. Um, and then this is the paint. Um, these are the old turn signals or clearance lights for the truck. Um, I replaced those, um, but these are still in great shape. So if you needed an extra set, they're there. These are some lights for the inside. They just need batteries. I was going to do some rechargeable batteries. That way, if you just wanted to have some lights here and there, uh, we've got fuses um, for the converter and the truck. Um, this is for a little 12 volt powder, uh, power supply but it also has a, a little in battery or a little connection for an antenna i'm sorry i'm not making a lot of sense um we've got um cable tv plate so if you want to install plate on the outside of the vehicle or on the seat or the roof of the vehicle um we have some levels we have some more clearance lights they're new um, we have a lot of the gutter insert trim and this is the trim that i used on the inside that i sourced from ebay um, got a lot of this. This always comes in handy. Um, we've got a um, circuit analyzer. This is going to be good. So if you're plugging in at a park or whatnot and you need to make sure that their uh, electric is uh, wired correctly. Um, this is the propane detector, which could be good for the, the RV or it could be good if you're just, you know, using it for your gas at home and you might have a leak. Um, this is a um cover for the windshield um these are the little guys that goes in the exhaust fans but they don't really work perfectly because um you would have to remove the cranks which is this one screw to get those to fall in but they're still nice little pills that start you know just throw them in um i've got a new vent cover and there's nothing wrong with the one that's on there this is for the refrigerator um but just in case i thought it'd be nice to have for the future um i have a cover for the exhaust that i think i was going to do over the bathroom I don't have max air fans, but you can apply this to any application. That way, if you wanted to open it up and maybe cut the fan on while it's raining or whatnot, you can still do that, have all the hardware for it. Um, this is new uh, antifreeze, which is, this is like 30 or 40 bucks a gallon. Um, I've got new belts for the truck ends. Um, I've got, um, this is for like all the plumbing and the water. Got two new water filters that have never been used. Uh, we've got a lot of elbows, uh, pressure regulator, um, this is just a little connection for the outside so you don't put too much pressure on the hose. Um, a water tank filler. Um, we've got a fresh water 25 foot hose. We've got sewer connections. A handful of this stuff I've never ever used. Um, and then we've got a couple little caps. And then over here, I have the old stove, which worked fine. It's just a beast and I didn't want to use it. As you can see, this goes down. Um, and then it has the oven inside, which is pretty clean. I don't even know if it ever was used. Um, so there's no issues with that. I just didn't want to use it in this application because I just think it takes up too much weight and space, truthfully. So that will be included. Um, if nothing else, if somebody doesn't want it, I'll just probably take it to a restore or scrap it. And then if the price is right on the purchase, I have this brand new, pretty much. I've used it for less than an hour. Just ran it a couple times, kept the battery on a tender on the off season. Um, and I run it every once in a while, just with enough gas to run through it. Um, this is usually right around $1,000 for this. Um, it also has a remote start, I'll have that inside. Um, and this is a nice little generator. It will power everything in that little RV. Um, it's also carb compliant for California, whatever that means. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And I think there'll probably be some other odds and ends that I would include um with the rv cell i just want to give an idea of what all is coming with it um if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me um i think that's about it